Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song called Sherry by Frankie Valli in the Four Seasons. And we're going to start off with kind of that intro progression on a C major chord. When we play C major, first finger goes to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the D string, second fret, and third finger on the A string, third fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord, and it sounds really happy. Now, all around C's in general, it can be kind of cool to lift off the first finger and make that a C major seven. Or you can take the pinky and add it in on the B string third, make that a C major nine, and kind of say some things around the C. And then from the C, we go to an A minor chord. And all you really have to do is take the third finger and go to the G string second fret. That sounds an A minor chord, and it sounds really sad. And while you're on the A minor, it can be kind of cool to lift off the first finger and make that an A sus two. Or a pinky can go to the B string third for an A sus chord. Or you can take the A minor shape and kind of lift off the third finger and make that an A minor seven. Or you can take the pinky and kind of add it in on the high E third for an A minor seven. And then from the A minor, we'll be going to an F major chord. We'll talk about an easy way to play this, but if you know the bar F, you do your first finger across the entire first fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, third finger on the A string, third fret, and pinky on the D string, third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an F major chord and it sounds really, really happy. You may also want to think about using uh, like an F major seven, <laughs> which can be a very cool voicing for that where you do first finger on the B string, first fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, and third finger on the D string, third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds an F major seven. It sounds really groovy, Abby. And then from the F, we're gonna be going to a G major chord. G major. First finger goes to A on the second fret, second finger on the low E string, third fret, and third finger on the high E string, third fret. And if you strum all those together, it sounds a G major chord. It sounds really, really happy. Now you may also want to think about putting the third finger on the B string third fret, pinky on the high E string third fret, and kind of working that for your G major, which would be kind of cool. Or it might even be a little bit easier for you to get to if you do second finger on the A string second fret, third finger on the low E string third, and the pinky on the high E string third. And that would be another voicing for the G major. Now you could kind of work it through the tune as kind of a down idea, kind of that C, A minor. I'm kind of doing four downs on each of the chords and kind of working it that way. C, two, three. strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down. Up. So we took the C and tried that a lot. You'd have down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, Now the weird part about that strum pattern is we kind of half that with our chords. So you can do kind of a down, down, up on each chord. Or if you kind of dig on halving the strum pattern, this is kind of cool too, is you can do the C with a down, down, and then hit the A minor with the up, up, down, up. Same idea for the F to the G. So C down, down, A minor, up, up, down, up, F, down, G, up, 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 down, up, C, down, A minor, up, up, down, up, F, down, G, up, 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 down, up. Or a cool variation of that could be kind of a down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. You can kind of half that that same way. You kind of course until we get to this cool little tag where you hear the bass kind of do the A string on the third fret and then we go first fret on the D and then third fret on the D and then third fret on the A. So kind of going C, 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 E flat, F, C kind of in the bass part and you could kind of work that as almost like a C with the F halfing and then kind of do a big C hit on that part or you could follow the bass line which is cool too so you can kind of go kind of C, A minor, F, G, C, 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 E flat, F, C. And I kind of work in that to lead into our bridge part. And on our bridge, we go to an E major chord. We play E major. First finger goes to the G on the first fret, second finger on the A string, second fret, and third finger on the D string, second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an E major chord. It sounds really happy. And you may also want to think about lifting off the third finger, making that an E7 chord. Or you can take the pinky and kind of add it in on the B string third and give it a little bit more bite. And then from the E or the E7, we go to an A major chord. We play A major. First finger goes to the D on the second fret, second finger on the G string second fret, 
third finger on the B string, second fret. If you strum all those together, that sounds an A major chord, which sounds really happy. Now you may also want to think about lifting off the second finger and making that an A7 chord, or you can kind of readjust the fingers and add in the pinky on the high E third for an A7. And then from there we go to a D major chord. We play D major. First finger goes to the G on the second fret. Second finger on the high E second fret, and third finger on the B string, third fret. If you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D major chord. Or you might dig on a D7 chord sound, where you do first finger on the B string, first fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, and third finger on the high E string, second fret for a D7. Kind of dig on that. And then we end it with kind of a big hit on a G chord. And you may want to do kind of a down and kind of kill it, kind of like you're doing on a C chord. And you hear the bass kind of kind of come in with a whole bunch of the G notes, kind of low E string on the third fret. You may want to kind of work on that too. So if we tried that with our strum pattern, we have kind of that. Speaking of bass notes, though, it can be kind of cool to add basses through the strumming. And on the C, you'd have the A string for the bass. So kind of turning our down, down, up, up, down, up into a, a, a bass, down, up, up, down, up. Or you can even work it as kind of a bass, up, down, up, up, down, up. And on the A minor, you'd have the A string for the bass. On the F bar, you'd have low E for the bass. On the F major, so you'd have the D for the bass. And on the G, you'd have low E for the bass. And for the bridge, on the E, you'd have the low E for the bass. On the A, you'd have the A for the bass. adding basses through our next verse chorus, we have kind of that C, A minor, and G. So you can kind of work it as kind of a bass down upon each chord. Or you can kind of work those happening ideas. C, down, A, up, up, down, F with the bass, down, G, up, 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 down, C, bass, up, down, A, up, 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 down, F, bass, down, G, up, down. Or you can kind of mix it up between those ideas. until we get to our tag again, where we got kind of a C, E flat, F, C, or you could come in with C, F, C, and then from there, then we go into our next bridge, so we try to basses with that, we'd have the E, and embellish it any way you want to. But that's the basics of how you can swim through Sherry by Frankie Valley in the Four Seasons. So, good luck!